Look at us, eh? Three wise men and a Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Devandra be sorry you missed this. Uh, we were spending the day with Erica's family, I believe. Mm. Well, have you met Erica's mother? By all accounts, she makes Sylvia look like Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> no offence. None taken. <laughs> uh, more turkey animals. Oh, smidgen. <clears throat> and uh, wishbone. Any, any takers? Mm. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it out loud. Why? Will she kill the fairy? The wish won't come true. Oh. Oh, it's too late for that now. You know, I've had a full life. I have everything a gal could wish for. Love, laughter, and loyalty. <laughs> but I do wish I'd been someone's mom. I do wish I'd been allowed. Oh, don't think there's enough there, Mary. Shall I get another? Uh, Mary, you might want to sit down. This is, uh... Jude. Your son. Merry Christmas, Mum. What are you doing? It's matter. It's these two that have been keeping a hostage. What? Well, not hostage, but like a slave. Are you off your red? You've been gone ages. No, I just need to find a passport. You can't go rooting around other people's houses. Got it. What do you think you're playing at? I know what you two have been up to. Keeping Marta here against her will. Well, she's safe now, right? And as soon as she gets this passport, she's... Have a look at the passport. What are you doing? It's Julia's passport. I want you both out oh. now. Aidan, I'm telling you the truth. They're keeping her here illegally. <laughs> Marta was a cleaner with us for a bit. I sucked her when she stole a pair of my earrings. We were nothing but kind to that young woman. You're a fool for believing her. We'll be having words in the morning, mate. Serious words. You better warn your old man. What have you done? Just uh, wondering when my van's going to be ready. Get someone else to fix it. Oh. Yeah, that's how you feel. I know something well between you and Anna. Not a good idea to cross me, Kevin. I'm going to dig till I get the truth. Happy digging, Kev. Let's hope you don't discover more than you bargained for. Tracy. Oh, what do you want? I could ask you the same question. I've met your sort before. That hell bent on creating problems for other people, they end up destroying themselves. Don't let that be you, Tracy. Your concern is really touching. The only people I'm concerned about are sat in there, looking forward to the best day of their lives. Yeah, and they are welcome to each other. No good riddance as far as I'm concerned. I'd love to believe you, but something tells me that you won't be able to help yourself. Whatever. I'm warning you. You do anything to disrupt that wedding, and you'll pay for it. Do you hear me? Because I know a bit about causing problems myself. Take one step out of line on Sunday, and I'll bring more misery to your door than you could ever imagine. Are you mad? 
There must be something of value in it if she wants to fight us for it. He does try. What's she doing? Oh, the stupidest woman I have ever met! Right, Isaac, you got to break! No! No! No, 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 Cheers, mate. Look, the kids are all right. Are you OK? No, no. Well, how bad is it? It's bad. Listen, when they pull that truck out, we're going to find Callum's body. Yeah, what about this one? Oh, I love that one. I love that one. Blimey, you'd have thought it, eh? You and me, same taste in music. Do you really think Kylie would have been proud? Yeah, of course I do. You stood up to Maka and the barrister. It took a lot of guts, that one. Oh, my guts don't feel too good now. I thought it'd be my mum that had the biggest problem with me leaving. Have you seen what you're leaving me with? <laughs> Fair enough. I'm gonna miss you, mate. Yeah, I know. Now listen. You look after mum, okay? Yeah. You look after yourself. Mm -hmm. You're the only brother that I've got. Go on. If you're going. <clears throat> yeah, sentimental to the end, eh, mum? I remember when we first moved here. Fifteen years ago. And you, you, <laughs> behave yourself. All right. I love you. I love you. Yeah, I will. Oh. Don't do that to the customers. You'll end up in court. Oh, come on. Always had me back, haven't you, eh, ma'am? Just go on before I make 
make a show of myself. Take care of everything here, okay? Kids, can you come here a sec? I'm gonna get a real Lambo when I'm older. Is that right? Yeah, I'm gonna take you out on it and Mum. You all right? No, mate, I'm not, but, um, we will be. What, what's wrong? It's, uh, it's about you, Mum. Well, what time is she coming back? She's not, mate. You see, she wanted to stay with us, but um, she had no, she had no choice. She had to leave. Have we done something wrong? No, mate. Far from it. Okay, it's just um, there was an accident, and she didn't suffer or anything. But... She's died. Died. Yeah. Yeah, but she's in heaven now, OK? So she's, um, she's waiting there for us when we get there. And um, she's just gone on ahead, that's all, you know, just to sort stuff out for us. What type of accident? It doesn't matter, mate. What, what's important, right, is that you both know that she loved you very much, OK? Because... L Lily, you, you were the, um, Max, you were the best thing that ever happened to her, right? You brought her so much happiness. OK, and she's not really gone. She'll never really be gone because, um... We'll just keep her in here. <laughs> uh, it's all right, mate. I, I know we're going to get through this, all right? <sighs> we have to get through this. And I promise... I'll make her so proud of us, all right? Thank you, Pam. 